Welcome to another episode of Buckless Coach Web Show. Well, hello, hello. This is Cindy, your host over at Bucket List Coach Web Show Live. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, and hit that subscribe button on YouTube. As a matter of fact, if you share this very broadcast, either on LinkedIn or on Facebook, after you comment, I will gift you a five-night hotel stay. Simply check out threenightgiveaway.com. So really quickly, if you'd like to comment on Facebook, go to streamyard.com slash Facebook. That way both of the platforms marry and we could see your name when you comment. So a really quick promo for National Day Calendar. It is National Military Family Month and it's also National Aviation History Month. If you like some swag from National Day Calendar, simply go to nationaldaycalendar.com in the coupon code area, you're gonna type in Cindy Lee, all caps, and you'll get 20% off. So today I have my friend Michael, but let's look at the video. Jesus Christ! And you think I'm reckless? When I fly, I'll have you know that my crew and my plane come first. Well, I'm going to finish my sentence, Lieutenant. My review of your flight performance was right on. Is that right? That is right. But I held something back. I see some real genius in your flying, Maverick, but I can't say that in there. I was afraid that everyone in that tax trailer would see right through me. And I just don't want anyone to know that I've fallen for you. Welcome, Michael, much. to the show. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you, Cindy. It's great to be here. Thank you for inviting me on to your show. I've been watching uh, all the other episodes that you've been doing. Um, really good show. Really like it. The energy is there continually, bringing brilliant people on. I'm going to say, uh, you got obviously Taco there, and I've noticed his comment always uh, ribbing me about how it's sunny always in Scotland, even at 11 o'clock at night. Um, great show and great to be here. Thanks very much for having me. I just want to do a shout out to Bio because I believe that's how I heard about your Top Gun group. So I'm so grateful for for him. So so thank you, thank you. Bio is a cool group. dude. I like Bio, and it was actually Mitchell that introduced me to Bio. Oh really, Taco? Yeah, yeah. Same here. You know, Same here. You know what? It, it was really it was really strange that um, that we were going back to to May. We were getting organized for the podcast that we we're doing. Um, and I was talking to uh, Mitchell and I, I found Mitchell's um, podcast when he'd got um, uh, the real Viper, Pete Pettigrew on. And I'm yeah. watching this thinking, wow, man, like this guy's awesome. Like he's talking to like the real Viper and I'm putting a few comments on and that's I think how Taco found, um, you know, the, the Facebook group. And then we got talking and then he's uh, come up with like, you know, why don't we get everybody together and we'll do a big podcast. And he said, I, I know Dave Baranek. Oh, sorry, Baranek. I'm like, wow, really? He's like, okay, that's cool. And we got on a, a call together, a FaceTime call. And it's just the three of us. Um, and obviously, Bio is a bit of a hero of mine. Hi, Paul. Um, and we, we're chatting away. And I'm looking thinking, this is surreal. I'm, I'm talking, you know, FaceTime here with, with Taco and, and with Bio. And all of a sudden, Taco's camera froze up. He went, guys, I've got to be back. I'll be back in a moment. And he disappeared. And then all of a sudden, the whole 13 inch of my iPad is just taken up with Bio's face. And we're face to face. And I'm looking at him thinking like, oh, my God, what do I say? This is Bio, like the guy who flew the MiG-28 from Top Gun. And I'm like face to face with him. He's just this awkward smile of like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, how are we doing? There we go. One of Bio's books. They were awesome. I've got one of those on uh, on audio books they're really good and oh, you, okay. yes Thank you. look at that the very best yeah, he's going to be on my show on monday i'm super stoked about that yeah i'm looking forward to that looking forward to that 
but Mitchell actually sent me one of their t-shirts the other day because I've not been over to um to pick one up obviously you can't buy them online yet so my brother from a different mother my podcasting partner in crime decided to pick me one up and uh, shipped it over to the UK bless him so thanks for that Mitchell let's talk Top Gun indeed let's talk what do you want to know I've seen it a couple of times there's a, only do twice I, there's, mm, maybe three times there's a spoiler and if anybody's like um you know don't like spoilers cover your ears um, but there's a guy called goose in it he dies <laughs> yeah sorry guys he does although i've seen the back i've seen the behind the screen um from photos and i've seen one with his eyes open so i don't think he died to be honest i think it's just a bit <laughs> of a ruse spoiler yeah. guys <laughs> yeah sorry guys sorry guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> to see what taco says look it, it... <laughs> I've actually got a green screen somewhere that's just a big Pepsi sign behind me for proper Top Gun product placement. And I'm going to get some Colgate show for shaving foam too. So let's talk about your group. Oh, topgunfans.com. Yeah, if you go over to topgunfans.com, that will direct you to the Facebook group. Um, now just tipping past 19,000 members. It's uh, The growth has gone quite quick. Um, gone through the roof. Uh, quite recently, the last week, it's added an extra thousand um, subscribe, uh, a thousand members to the group, which is quite uh, surreal to watch. Really, to watch the you know the group just growing uh, as quick as it is. But it's a great collection of people, um, not only fans. It started out with just fans. In fact, before I started the group, I just had a, a Facebook page um, because Facebook, uh, sorry, Top Gun was a passion. And I was growing the page, um, but it just didn't really, it just allowed people to connect with me and it didn't, what I wanted was something that allowed Top Gun fans to connect to each other. So I started the group instead. Wow, um, and it you know, started off quite slow and then it picked up speed and, you know, it was growing really quick. Um, and one of the things that I do every day is go through and just um, approve people that wanted to join. And it's getting, it's it's picked up pace and it's going along quite nicely. And then as I'm going through the list of the names of people that want to uh, to join, there's one name that jumps up, jumps out at me. And it, I stopped dead. Um, my jaw hit the, hit the table. Um, I'm looking at the name is John Semkin. I'm like, John Semkin. Like the John Semkin. Like, no, this has got to be, this got to be a wind up. And I went over and there's, there's Smegs. Obviously, you know, one of the main guys for um, for the liaison liaison between the Navy and Paramount. And wow. he's joining the group. I'm like, holy shit, this is this is good. This is like it stepped up a level. And then other people come on. Um, and then one day with uh, there's a guy um, joined called Frank Whiteley. And the name didn't mean anything at the time. And I'm like, OK, and he posted a picture and it's him in a an F-14 with Tom Cruise as Maverick behind him. And I'm looking thinking, oh, that's nice. Obviously, as they were filming, he was a bit of a fan and he managed to get a, a picture with his hero. And that's actually what I thought Frank was. I still thought he was a, a Top Gun groupie at the time. And then he posted another picture um, and it was Maverick's um, sunglasses actually from the movie, one of the props. I'm like thinking like, hold on a minute, this guy's either something more than a groupie or he's, you know, trying to have one on. Um, I got talking to Frank, and obviously he turned out to be Tom Cruise's bodyguard for the duration of um, of Top Gun. And wow. since then, we've uh, come really, really good friends. He's, he's an excellent guy, you know. Dying breed, shall we say. Is that on his personal page? I'm trying to look for that. Or was that, was that a while ago with the picture of a Tom Cruise? Um, I don't know if it's, yeah, it, it's somewhere on his timeline. Oh, have. Here is California Tom Cruise. Here, let me let me change it here. So talk about California Tom Cruise. Jerome, um, I've actually got him on my friends list, but I'm yet to speak to him. That's him. That's Frank. Frank's wife Carrie, and uh, and Jerome there. I mean, you've got to be blessed, really, to be, to be look like Tom Cruise at that age. And, and be able to pull that off and the guy is 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 really good at what he does um he's got the kawasaki motorbike um he's really popular 
really good at what he does. Um, I don't know if that uh, was at Frank and Carrie's uh, one of the birthday celebrations that they had. I know they invited him along as, as a guest. Uh, but they know each other. Um, Paul's good friends with him as well. Paul Ward that you had on um, earlier oh, on yeah. today, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Eight hours at the Midway on Sunday. Absolutely amazing. Oh, my God. The tour was so amazing. What that man doesn't know about the Midway isn't worth knowing. Isn't worth knowing. When, when I come over in next May, um, I've got yes, my I private tour there. booked with Paul. Are you coming as well? I'm an hour away. Yes. Yes. It's going to be, it's going to be a really, really good event. It's still not organized <laughs> properly. <laughs> it's still like, you know, everyone who's coming because a lot of people are looking at thinking it's, you know, still six, seven months away or so. Um, there's a lot to get organized, but it's going to be one heck of a weekend and we're going to make it like really special for those that are able to, uh, to attend to turn up. Topgunfans.com takes you over to the Top Gun Fans Facebook group. Oh which we've now just passed 19,000 members. Here's the YouTube. So let's talk about the YouTube page. We need to get you to a thousand subscribers. Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Uh, the, the Facebook page, uh, sorry, the YouTube channel is really, it's just another platform because I like to put out the content uh, with Facebook. You can put text, photos, and obviously videos. Um, but when you come to YouTube, obviously everything's um, video orientated. Um, but we're also now, as you can see, we've put up the um, below the hard deck podcasting episodes as well. They're, they're going onto there. We're turning that into an audio format to put that onto um, all of the audio podcast uh, channels as well. So let's talk about what's happening in May. What, what are the series of events we're going to be doing? Oh, excellent choice. Well, so far, it's going to be a two day event because there's no point getting people to travel. I mean, we've got people coming from Australia, um, people oh. traveling across America. I'm coming from the UK. So people are spending a lot of money and a lot of time in the air to travel there. So we're making it a, a weekend. So basically what we're taking is what we did last May um, with the virtual thing, with the podcast. Um, we're doing that, but an in-person thing. And because it's in person, we can make it slightly bigger. So whereas before we only had, uh, me and Taco only had two people on with us per session. Uh, when we've got everybody on a stage, we can have like three, four or five people on there because obviously when people are in a personal one-to-one -one setting, um, you can read each other's body language. You know kind of when to step back or when to step in uh, with the conversation without talking over people. You haven't got the delay and that latency. So we're going to have a lineup of very special um, Top Gun guests. Um, more than what we had last time. Uh, we're going to have some breakout sessions. Bio's turning up. He's going to also, as well as be there, he's going to be doing some book signing as well. Uh, there's another author with a book that's due out, which I'm not going to drop at the moment because it's not been released. Um, so we're having to hold back there. It is going to be a really good weekend, buddy. That's that's absolutely for sure. Um we're going to have some aviation vendors there as well. So selling their swag. So, you know, you can turn up if there's um, people that got collections, you know, some really good rare things that they're looking to, to sell at the time. We're going to have that. We're trying to get this on uh, Liberty Station in that area because obviously it's synonymous with um, where parts of the movie were filmed. So it's got like that special... Um, environment about it, that special feeling. When you're there, you're actually in the location where some of the scenes were filmed. And with Frank leading the way with being able to take us around certain parts of, of that area to explain where uh, certain scenes were filmed, etc. cetera. Um, I'm going to add some more stuff to, to Saturday. And um, the details haven't been completely nailed down on Saturday. But on Sunday, we've got a tour of the Midway. Um, thanks to nice. Paul, he's donated 28 tickets um, that we can use to get people onto the ship. Uh, but a couple of hours around the midway, um, doing what you wanted to do, go and have a look at the parts of the midway that you want to see. And then we're going on Frank's um, bus tour, which oh. <laughs> it's not going to be its official name, but that's what I'm referring to at the moment. We're going to get a, a private uh, coach bus and we're going to do our own um, touring of all the film locations. 
And although we're in downtown San Diego, we're going to travel up and go to the um, the Top Gun house. Obviously, it's moved a little bit further up from where it was. But personally, I, I really want to go there. I want to see where it was, see where it is now. So we're going to take it's about a 45 minute drive out to see there. We can everybody gets off the bus and has half an hour or so back on the bus. Have a tour around the rest of the filming locations in and around San Diego and then finish up at uh, Martin and Cindy's Bar, Kansas City Barbecue for yeah. some food, some drinks, unwinding, some mingling and just round off a really nice weekend. Maybe a little piano. We're going to try and get we're going to try and get Cindy's piano fixed because it was damaged. Oh, OK. And it oh, was and water fire? damaged. Yeah. Yeah. When they had the fire, um, it's water damaged. So we're going to leverage the group because I'm going to be looking for somebody that knows somebody that can come and have a look at this piano and actually get it restored, do something within the group um, and just get that restored back to its former glory. So, yes, when we get down there, hopefully by May, we can have a, a little tinkle on the keys and maybe uh, some great balls of fire karaoke around the piano. I think that would be uh, a perfect end to a Top Gun weekend. I'm going to look through my roller decks to see maybe if I could find somebody for you guys. To look that, at that, would, yeah. that would be awesome. That would be really good. Um, when you have Cindy on, if you can just mention that to her as well. Okay. So, yes. you know, it's something we're meant to be doing. We haven't forgotten. We're going to get that done. Let's talk swag, baby. Swag. Top Gun swag. Okay. Well, if you go into your browser and go to topgunmoviefans.com, so it's a little bit different from topgunfans.com, it's topgunmoviefans.com, we've got uh, a store full of merchandise, so arrangements of different designs, but they're available on a, a wide range of things, Your stickers, t-shirts, mugs, hats, phone cases, um, face masks, magnets, etc. Mm, and you can see they're now offering after pay as well. So you can split things down. Look at that. I wonder if anybody actually takes four interest free payments of $1.80. That'd be interesting. I don't... <laughs> wow, look at that. But that's worldwide shipping. So wherever you, in fact, if you hold it on that t-shirt there, I, uh, I'll model the t-shirt because that's the one I'm wearing. Oh. oh so where's the black one. one that you're wearing? um it was in the middle of the page a moment ago as you were scrolling down okay let me go back this one that's here? there what yeah that's the one. Oh wow great prices too yeah never run it to really try and make money from it just cover a, a few expenses a bit of time doing things it's the very t-shirt there nice i like that and if anybody doesn't like spoilers from the new movie, it's probably best to turn the sound down about now. And I'll do that when you can turn the sound back up because this logo is actually um, very similar to the one, a patch that Maverick wears on the black flight suit. It's the um, high altitude uh, flight suit. And I won't go into why he wears it because that would be too much of a spoiler. Um, but this is the patch. Um that's there it's da, 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 da. it's the aircraft that he flies and that's the lockheed martin logo that's also on there um but we'll do that because we'll finish with this we'll finish with the spoilers um so there's there's some it's all fan based uh, mitchell's telling me to bring my baby grand <laughs> yeah yeah i'm gonna need deep pockets for this <laughs> especially for especially for the some of the things that people have been trying to sell uh sell mitchell and i from collections such as ejection seats from f14s which are awesomely cool where can i get one of them i'll put you in touch with a lady that has one for sale <gasps> but you might have to, you might have to do a battle with taco to get that because he's got his eyes on it i've got my eyes on a, a plaque that was on the wall in the actual movie that this lady has as well wow um, but it's Big collection, a lot of really, really cool, very rare stuff, to say the least. Wow. You heard that, oh, yeah. Taco. <laughs> oh, he did. He did. So we have another comment from Paul. Yeah. That's the, uh, the 
the comment about the uh, the guy that you just showed that he was interviewing there. Yeah. It was, so I know uh, it's getting late over there. How much more time do you have today? I'm really enjoying oh, the interview. Oh, about three or four days. Three or four days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't take you can't take life too seriously. Um, I'm good for another twenty minutes, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, however long. Okay. That yeah, you we need. can go I, another I, five or I've ten. Yeah. So let's do a recap of the swag store. And that would be found by going to topgunmoviefans.com. That will take you into the store. Anything that you buy, greatly appreciated. Um, tiny percentage um, of every sale, I get a, a cut of that. So it's always appreciated when anybody goes to buy things. Perfect if you're looking for a Top Gun or a gift for a Top Gun fan. Um, it's definitely something you'll be able to find in there. And this is over at the Facebook group, which you can find if you go to topgunfans.com. That's actually the event. This is the event next uh, next May that we're doing. I've called it the Top Gun Reunion Save the Date, which I thought was quite creative at the time. So let's talk about this again as a recap. What's going to happen on this weekend? <laughs> Okay, on May the 14th, <clears throat> which is a Saturday, we're going to be having a venue that, uh, all being well, would be at Liberty Station. Uh, in and around Liberty Station is where some of the films, uh, some of the scenes were filmed from the movie. Uh, we're going to have, uh, it's an indoor event. Um, we're basically recreating what we did last May in our podcast, where we bought, brought in 11 very special Top Gun guests. We're going to expand on those 11. Some of them are going to be returning if they can make it. Obviously, it's easier to make a, a, a live event, a, a, a live stream event than it is to travel across the country to be there. Uh, what I can tell you is um, that Bozo, Lloyd Abel, um, he's already uh, down on the list, is, uh, is going to be there. Uh, but as people know, Bozo's the guy that took uh, Tom Cruise up for a ride in the F-14 and threw him about and uh, put him into a 4G dive or something ridiculous just as he went to get for his Ooh. sick bag. And this is the, this is the story that Tom Cruise tells. I love and he's it. like, and you know, I'm reaching down and I'm, I'm trying to get my sick bag and, and I can't get it. And, and all of a sudden I, I can't reach the intercom. And then when he comes up, he says, he said, did you, what did you do that for? Did, did you not see what you know, surely you could see him. I wasn't there. And he said, they don't call me Bozo for nothing. <laughs> so this is the guy that's going to be there. Bozo is also the guy that flew the F-14. Uh, past the tower in the movie he actually buzzed the tower for real um wow for, that's, gotta that's love that movie. that's my favorite part is buzzing yeah the yeah going well, everywhere. exactly yeah buzzing <laughs> down that guy so lloyd's going to be there bio's going to be there hopefully uh, uh jambo is going to be there as well so um, who's we'll jumbo tell with... my audience about jumbo Jim Ray, he was one of the Top Gun instructors. He flew one of the um, jets that he flew one of the uh, the A fours. Um, so in the movie, when you see um, Viper and and Jester flying around in those A fours, um, one of those would have been um, would have been Jambo at the time. So he was a Top Gun instructor as well, uh, F fourteen pilot. Really nice guy. We had him uh, last May on the uh, on the podcast. Um, he was on with Bozo and Hollywood. So that was cool. Um, Hollywood was one, one of the uh, other uh, Top Gun instructors who flew in the movie as well. Really, really good to hear their stories. So we're going to be bringing these guys back, some extras. Uh, Frank's going to be there, obviously, in multiple roles. Um, hopefully, we're going to get Billy Badalato back in there as well. Nice. And we're really hoping, but we can't guarantee it at the moment, um, hopefully we might be able to get Bill Badalato, the executive producer, but that all depends obviously what Bill's up to and with the traveling as things. So we're going to make that a big event. Then there's going to be breakout sessions where we've got people like bio signing books. There's another book coming out, a, a, a big book coming out for Top Gun. Um, the author hopefully is going to be there signing books as well. <clears throat> Some vendors selling their, um, aviation swag, um, a few other things and then on the sunday as i say we're going to be visiting the midway for a tour around there 
then we're going on Frank's bus tour for the uh, filming locations of Top Gun. And then we're going to head back to Kansas City Barbecue, finish it off with some hopefully tinkling on the piano, some barbecue ribs and some beer. And don't forget and that brisket and fun. that coleslaw. That coleslaw is amazing. It's not true. Oh, it oh, is. The, I the can't wait. Oh I, re God. I really, and in fact, you know what? When I go back, I'm going to take this coin back and it's the challenge coins that they had made. Wow. Um, I forget how many. Of the, well, this coin um, was after we did the, we did a, another session, another podcast, Top Gun 1. Um, in September and it was mm -hmm. Frank and Billy and they were actually at the Kansas City barbecue um, and because it was there the uh, Kansas City barbecue got uh, a fair bit of coverage from that as well and then really very humbling is that Martin took the last coin which was that one from above their bar and out of the uh, the protective case and it's the last one that got because I sold the rest and he gave it to Frank and he said to Frank can you send that to Michael as a gift and I was absolutely blown away Aww. by that because it's like it was it was theirs, like it was the like that sold all the rest. It was a limited edition, um, so that's one of the things that's pride of place on my desk at the moment. So it's, it's, it, that means a lot. So I'm going to take that back um, and thank them personally for for that gift. Well, awesome. So now this is the fun part of the show. So what I like to do at the end of the show, more shout outs and also a testimony on each, on each other. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut each one and then we could repurpose to all our socials. So it's a really great way instead of me saying, hey, Michael, can you do a testimony on my show? Or hey, Cindy, can you do yeah. a testimony on my show? I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to cut it. And then by Monday, I'll give you all the copies. Does that okay. sound good? Yeah. Um, let's do a big plug for him. Tell him, tell everybody here in my audience how awesome his show is. It is. It's, it is absolutely it's so awesome. It's, if you go to YouTube and type in Tall Tales with Taco, he does his show normally every Tuesday. And as I found out the other day on Tuesdays, he goes and has tacos as well, which because he, he FaceTimed me while eating them and showed me how lovely they were. So if you go to either Facebook or to YouTube, and search Tall Tales with Taco. You'll find his show on there. It's 80, I think, correct me if I'm wrong here, Mitchell, there's like 50, 60 episodes he's done so far. But it's not just the amount of episodes that he's done. It's the people that he's had on that show. Oh God, yeah. And it's just kind of like the incredible um, connections that he's able to, to, to forge with people uh, to bring them on to his show. I mean, that guy there... Um, the last World War II United States Marine F U uh, F for you Corsair Ace. Um, Mitchell actually drove about three or four hours to get to this guy's house. He went up with his dad to do this interview. Um, you know, obviously that's a really rare interview to get with somebody like that. Um, he's also had um, the guy from Heartbreak Ridge. Um, wow. Koch, I can't remember the guy's name who played Swede in the movie. Um, and he's just now progressing from there. Like normally it's, it's uh, military personnel telling their, their tales why they're there, but it's now moving on to like actors have been in uh, war movies and he's bringing them in and they're explaining, you know, what it was like to work on a, on a movie with these people. And it's absolutely definitely um, recommended to pop over to, to Mitchell's uh, podcast on on YouTube and subscribe to that. And definitely share, definitely share. Oh yeah, like, subscribe and share, which you Hit should. Hit that bell icon. Yeah, definitely, we, we want that ting. Well, hello, hello, this is Cindy Lee over at Bucket List Coach Web Show Live. And today I wanna do a referral testimony for my friend, Michael Sheriff. And if you are a Top Gun fan, you definitely need to look him up on Facebook. We have a Facebook group over 19,000 fans. And you're going to subscribe, comment, and share on his YouTube page. So that's Top Gun fans, Top Gun movie fans. And make sure that you subscribe and share.
<laughs> oh, guys, I've been truly blessed to be invited on here uh, by Cindy Lee for the Bucket List Coach web show. What a fantastic podcast that this lady is doing. It's just one show after another, bringing on brilliant arrangement of people, one guest after another, sharing their stories. We've got stories about Top Gun. We've got stories about the actual Top Gun, like the Navy Fighter Weapons School from people like Bio, who are actually uh, instructors there. We've got people from the Midway covering that. Everything about aviation, this lady is covering it in her podcast. You really do need to go look up, go onto YouTube and and look for Bucket List Coach Web Show. Uh, Cindy Lee, find her, subscribe, and make sure you hit that uh, notification button when you subscribe on YouTube. So we are out. Anything else before we close? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. I just, again, thank you like for having me on here. It's certainly it's a change to sit the other side of the table and not have any buttons to press and not have to read comments. I know what a, a lot of work goes into running a podcast, to listening to what somebody's saying, to read the, the comments that are coming up, to read your notes and notes, everything else. Yes. There's, uh, <laughs> yeah, as, as Paul, as, uh, as Mitchell would, would agree, there's, um, there's a lot goes on behind the scenes, including when you're live as well, watching that. And because it's live, anything can go wrong. I'm also going to ask you if you can send me a copy of the audio for that because I should um, edit it up and put it onto my podcasting channels as well. Definitely, yes. And definitely. if you have a Google My Business page and a Facebook page, um, I definitely want to review you on that and vice versa. Vice versa. Send me the links. Definitely. We'll get that done. Definitely. Anything else before we close out? I'm good. I'm all done. Thank you. Okay, let me uh, pop you out and just wait one minute and we'll chat. Okay. Wow, another community of the Top Gun movie. I am just so, so blessed to have met Michael. And if you want to connect with them, please reach out to me over at Buckless Coach Web Show. He is definitely someone that you need to talk to. And you definitely need to attend our event in May. It's so much to do in San Diego. And this is a big one for your San Diego bucket list, your aviation bucket list, and of course, plane porn, guys. So next week, I have great shows set up. Make sure that you follow Bucket List Coach, Web Show Live, and also Top Gun Movie Fans. This is Cindy over at Bucket List Coach, Web Show.